Yeah, really? That's what time it is? Time for camera work. How are you feeling? Uh, squidgy is how I'm feeling. What does that mean? It's squidgy. I don't know. It's just a good word that describes it. And what are you um, doing today? I'm going to poop my pants. <laughs> and then after that, who knows? The world is my tomato. You're getting ready to go up to the house? Yep. Getting ready to go to the house. Back out of the room. Are you going to bring your tea? No. I'll really? Back for it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll give it time to cool off. And <laughs> I'll take care of some stuff. Okay. Put those flats out on your way back, please. I'd like to put some shoes on. But that's challenging because you might have to bend over. Let's see if I can. Ooh, there's one. I may have to take a shower. Who knows? <laughs> it could go anyway. Okay. Well, okay, you look great. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he just didn't poo in the Holy Lord. bathroom here. What? Did you have to shower? No. No shower was needed. <clears throat> Once you started walking, it was a little easier, right? No. Mm. Not at all. Were you like, good morning, Maggie. <laughs> I was like, got an emergency. I'm going to go in the bathroom. Was she like right there at the table, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She got to listen to the whole thing. Her, her conference call was like populating as I came in. So it was like you put in front of an audience? Kinda. I could definitely hear everyone talking about all the important issues going on. In the cannabis industry? Yeah. Uh-huh. It was informative. It was really great. <laughs> yeah. Cannabis is a is deemed an essential business to continue operating through this um, <laughs> lockdown situation. So if people need their medicine, they need cannabis, totally accessible. You know, they're doing pickup services and, um, you know. Delivery. Delivery, yeah. So, that's a good thing. So, well, I can ask Maggie. So, does that just mean dispensaries, or does that mean, like, all cannabis-related businesses? I believe all related businesses, because they were talking about shops that sell equipment for growing. Mm -hmm. That those were also wow. essential businesses, and they, you know, it's not the kind of thing where you can go into the stores and go browse around what you need, but you can call them, place an order, and they'll provide a curbside pickup for you. That's so, amazing, actually. Yeah, it's a really, a, it's really a big thing for the industry because they're taking um, a little. I got a little something. Yeah, right there in the middle. Oh, you got it. Now it's down here. It was probably a, a it was a lemon, a little lemon piece. I'm having some hot lemon water. I missed though. Sorry, I interrupted you. It's a pretty amazing thing. Yeah, yeah. The cannabis industry is being deemed as essential business, and you know, it, it definitely increases the level of. Um, respectability respectability or credibility um you know that on a national level that this at least in this area is definitely is deemed essential business it's pretty amazing and it must feel good for all the people that have been working so hard on the policy side of all of this stuff and like maggie and um <clears throat> just all the people who've been putting so much work into this for so mm -hmm. many years and to to feel like they've gotten to this point where they're, it's validated, it's recognized, must yeah. feel pretty good. And they're taking that with great responsibility, too. Just because they're open doesn't mean that, oh, we can go get we can get high. It's not like that, you know? It's like, it really is a legitimate medicine that people use to make their lives better. So, it's really great, you know? 
but yeah. they are being very careful with it. You know, it doesn't mean that you can put yourself in danger to go to the dispensary to get uh, cannabis. You know, there's it still needs to be safe, and they're very careful. About they're very that. serious about it. Yeah, they had a long discussion about that. I know. Oh, for sure. Important stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what else? It's a cloudy rainy day. <laughs> Yep, I got the flats taken out. Oh, thank you. And they're uh, on the ground out there. It's cloudy and a little bit chilly. And if you look over to the right, you might see a guy in a tree. Right, guy in a tree. Uh, maybe not, but there's someone out here from Comcast fixing the... Net link. Net link, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, one of those things, they're out here fixing the internet because the internet has been broken to the house. Yeah, Maggie's internet hasn't been working for maybe a couple weeks now, so when we arrived, she was excited because we have better internet in the truck than she has in her house, so she's been coming every morning and taking our internet and going up and doing her work from the house. Yeah. While we sleep, like bums. Yeah. Not today, though. Why are you up so early? I'm cooking some pulled pork in a slow cooker. We're going to have some pulled pork tacos or barbecue pork or something. I think I'm hoping it'll be enough for like two meals. Probably not the way I eat. But yeah. And we can also just put half of it aside and say we're not eating this. You could, but why would you? <laughs> because we're going to run out of meat real soon. It's okay. You'll be sad. No, I won't. I'll be sad. I just need to... I'll just need to eat a little bit more vegetables, that's all. Nothing wrong with that. Wish we had more fruit. We're gonna need more lemons. Maggie's got a huge bowl of them. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the goal is to get through... um, (coughs) Two weeks. Until, like, the 1st of April before we have to go to the store. Show this. This is <laughs> our compost. Look at that. Pretty much lemons. It's mostly lemons, co- coffee grinds, and tea bags. Sneeze. There's, a, there's <laughs> not an apple. Virus. There's an apple core. Uh, bless you. <laughs> not coronavirus. Yep. So I heard I saw a meme yesterday from one of my old students, and he called the coronavirus. The Modelo virus. Yeah, it's good. Hilarious. Hilarious. The Dos Equis virus. <laughs> Sorry, am I not allowed to say those words on here? It's like a Mm-mm. ban from YouTube. I don't care. I'm, we're running experiments right now, so I've heard that you can't say that word on YouTube. You'll get demonetized. It seems ridiculous. We're talking about Corona beer. What the hell? So, um, you know, we'll put this out there and see if it, uh... See if it works. See if it gets demonetized. I, I like to, I like to poke the bear. Yeah. And see see where the bear is ticklish. <laughs> it's your turn. My lemon water turn? Yeah. I'm still in bed. I'm tr- trying to go to the side a little bit because it's so bright behind you. So bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I didn't get up and make pulled pork. What did you do? This is it. Sitting You're looking at it. it. It's cold out. It is a little cold. Today. I'm sitting on the heated blanket right now. Mm, yeah. Don't tell. The heated blanket. You can tell it's plugged in. There it is right there. There's a cord. There's a cord. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know. It's going to be a rainy day, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Play my ukulele, probably. And maybe make some lists. Mm. I feel like this quarantine time is slipping away so fast, and there's so many things I want to do. So. If you write it on a list, make that a means list. it'll be... Uh, and it's real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. I'm gonna go make some coleslaw at some point. Mm-hmm. Coleslaw for what? For the pulled pork. 
For the pulled pork tacos. Doesn't that sound good? Sounds delicious. And then you talked about making barbecue beans or something, but... Mm -hmm. Maggie I, has... Bar I don't have to do that. She has barbecue That's sauce? It. No. But she has brown sugar. Yeah. And we have ketchup. That's pretty much barbecue sauce. Really? I think. Mustard? Vinegar? Yeah, sure. All those things. But uh, we could definitely pull up some barbecue beans. She soaked them overnight, so they're ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we'll make some variety. And maybe I'll make... Oh, no, we have this coleslaw. I was going to say, maybe I'll make some, like, kale, too. Yeah. I might do that anyway. Because there's lots of it in the garden. Mm-hmm. I'm down with that. Greens. Greens. Ba like, barbecue beans and pulled pork tacos. That sounds like a great combination. Yeah, it sounds like some weird southwest... No. Southern Tex-Mex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Southern mix. Very Texas, Texas C. Yeah. Sure. Sure. It'd be great. And then we can put bacon in everything. <laughs> you put bacon in it? <laughs> put bacon in the greens. Isn't that what they do in the South? They do. And then yep. put bacon in the beans. They do that too. Yep. Bacon in the beans. <laughs> bacon Except in the beans. Then we'll run out of beans. I mean, then we'll run out of bacon. Yeah. We don't want to use up all don't the bacon. Don't run out of bacon. We already have pulled pork. We don't need bacon too. That's it. Are you sure? That's it. That's it. I think so. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Bye. Wipe out. I should have. Okay, so I think that you just put half a cup of flour, and this I assume is like Maggie. Do you know unbleached? organic all-purpose flour would that be a good guess yeah yeah that's what i would guess i think you can use all different kinds but that's what we have here and i think that's also ideal <laughs> <laughs> i'm not just talking to you I'm talking, I'm talking to a world. camera yes um the... and then it's about a quarter to a third a cup of water good water you need a measuring cup? Sure. What is that? A quarter? Quarter. Sure. That's sure. pretty good, right? Yep. And then you just put it into a jar. That's big enough. It's going to at least double in size. So I'm not really like packing it down very well. Yeah, but you know. You know. This is very I'm not loose. working in a bakery here. And then you would just stir it really well. You need a spoon? Or maybe even a fork. Maybe even a fork. So I think uh, you're supposed to whisk it. You gotta whisk it. Whisk it. Whisk it. Whisk it. And we're getting kind of like a paste. I'm just cheerleading. That looks good already. Right? No. <laughs> I said I was cheerleading. <laughs> I think you're supposed to try and not get it too much like up on the sides because then it see. can introduce even more bacteria and whatever. I don't really know anything about this. I've never this done this This is our before. first attempt. We uh, decided we want to start making some sourdough. I actually decided that I wanted to start making bread. Bread, yeah. And so then I went online and started looking for um, yeast. yeast packets and flour and I was having trouble finding them online so then I was like okay maybe was it Maggie's idea somebody's idea just, it seems to be sold out everywhere just make sourdough so I seem to not be the only one thinking this right now about yeah. making bread um, but sourdough you don't need yeast for because well, you is, have is yeast yeah you that create um, a, a sourdough start which is a live active thing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Maggie's pulling out the hard apple cider that's <laughs> from the trees. You guys saw the trees in the garden, the apple trees. Those are all apple trees, right? The ones down front? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I think that's it. This is what that's it looks it. like. Where do I show? It's a week-long process. we got to tend to it every day for a week, and then we'll see how it is, and then we'll feed it after a week, right? No, so the fur... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you feed it every day. Yeah. 
But and so what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it loosely. We need a paper towel and a rubber band or a loose fitting lid. A rubber band. And then in 24 hours, we're gonna check it. And if it's bubbling, then we're gonna feed it with more flour and water. If it's not, then we just let it sit for another 24 hours. Okay. And we just do that till it starts to get like, and every time you also like whisk it or stir it well. Mm -hmm. And then once it starts being like consistently bubbly, then you start doing it every eight hours. And I think you pretty much do that for a week. Mm. There's some little testing things you can do like after a week to see. And then you, you can- 12 hours. Was it, you said eight hours? I think it's at every, oh, maybe it's every 12 hours. Yeah, you're talking about doing it at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Oh yeah, maybe that's and, what it was. Um, yeah, every, maybe 12, it's every 12 hours. hours. Yeah. Twice a day. Um, and then you can, you'll use this to make your bread and you can also store it in the refrigerator for, I don't know, a long time. And then when you want to use it, you just take it out like 24 hours before you want to you use it and you it. feed it again. Mm -hmm. It's great. We love sourdough and uh, maybe we make some sourdough pizza or who knows. Anyway, yeah. All sorts of stuff. All the things. Pancakes. <laughs> You've been wanting pancakes. Sourdough pancakes. Yeah. It's a thing. What? I didn't know. Now you know. So yeah, we're gonna come up with some creative ways of cooking new things. So that's it. That's the start. We'll see what happens. It could be rotten by the morning. I don't know. <laughs> we'll let you know though. Yeah. Tune back in to see. Either way, Paul will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Tune back in to see the conclusion of yeast or sourdough starter. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, you're, you're really good at what you do. Yeah. That's why you do it and not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Okay. Look at what's behind you. That's, that's pretty picture perfect. Oh, I should just bring this over. Moving right along. <laughs> to the next uh, thing. Next Maybe. edition of Polly and Ellie in the kitchen. <laughs> so this is the hard apple cider that Maggie and Devin and friends made. Hard apple cider. But you did, you, had, you bought a Fresh apple from press. Mm -hmm. So they pressed them and you made cider and then some of the cider you fermented. In, or, yeah, whatever that, distilled, is it? Just fermented. fermented. There you go. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of clunk, clunk on. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> you still did it. Are we supposed to like? They make a weird clinky sound when you. It's like boom. Oh, this way. Yeah. Strong. Everyone's talking about their quarantinis. Quarantinis. Yeah, we're having cider. Yep. Quar <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. This is the first thing we've had to drink actually during quarantine. In a long time. Since Reagan's boat. Mm-hmm. Plenty to drink in Reagan's boat. Yeah. Always. <laughs> that was like the whole thing of the day. It was like, how much booze do we have right now? Like, we need <laughs> booze to fill the time. <laughs> I guess. For the first 48 hours, anyway. Yeah. Well, our pace slowed. This looks great. My I mean, pace slowed. Can I have a... We gotta get that paper towel on there. Oh yeah, do it up. It. And we need um, oh. a rubber band. Where did I just see rubber band? Are they still on the table? Oh, you got right there. Look how look how decorative and nice and festive that is. I think is. you already gave them to me over here. Right That's it. Look at that. Ready to go. Lots All right, guys. Airflow. We'll catch you on the flip flop. We're tired. Can you tell? Sleepy day. Rainy, cloudy, sleepy day. Not really rainy. Didn't rain, but everything else. We thought it was going to, so we we preemptively wore our pajamas <laughs> all day long. <laughs> it never rained. I'm wearing my red sweatpants. Very nice. I'm wearing my gray. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we quarantine.
quarantine. <laughs> I got the cheers. Is that the quarantine dance? Don't you love when I leave you alone on camera by yourself? Nope. Hate it. <laughs> Hate it. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, look. Well, that the time is actually not accurate because there was like a minute at the beginning and it's just going to get cut out. Yeah. What do you want to do now? <laughs> Nothing. Bye. Should we make something It doesn't have to be 10 minutes. No. no nothing else. We're just going to go. Okay. Tomorrow, you guys, you never know what we'll get into. Maybe you can watch, watch me do the dishes. Maybe. I may just put this on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, fun time. Yeah. I do have a Patreon. Links in the description. <laughs> Bye guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.